Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg, and that's a 69 Olds, baby. And she is sweet. 455 under the hood, and you're gonna see this baby's been made out to be a tribute to the W30 car. Let's take a look, man. Absolutely gorgeous paint on it. We got great looking chrome. We got great looking emblems. We got great looking trim. I love the scoops down there underneath the uh, bumper there that pull in that cold air, taking it up to that 455. Just looks so cool. And then those Buick wheels wrapped with those BFGs, just looking absolutely gorgeous, man. And then the color, man. You want to talk about a hit? It is slick and smooth as can be. Laid down on there just as slick as you can imagine. Looking beautiful. Now check out the interior there. Everything looking sweet. Now one cool thing about having this uh, pearl interior is uh, it stays nice and cool when it gets hot. She is beautiful, man. The dash pad itself is in gorgeous shape. The door panels, the seats, the steering wheel, the finishes on the dash. I mean, everything looking absolutely gorgeous. You would not be able to tell this was actually a 69 model. Doors lining up nice. Got great looking uh, wheel and tire combo on the back too. A little bit wider in the back than the front. Always love that. Love the big uh, spoiler on the back. We got great looking chrome back here. All the trims looking sweet. Let me grab the keys so we can pop open that trunk. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. That means we own this car, so you know we spent our time, checked it out before we bought it. You can see inside the trunk's all nicely finished. I see what looks like a brand new wiring harness here also. Got jack instructions here. They spent the time to get the stickers and put those on. As you look down the passenger side, she's nice and straight, looking sweet. So you can call Tom anytime at 248-974-9513. He can tell you all about what we've done to the car, what the mechanics found when we inspected the car. And now we're gonna put it up on the lift after we drive it. And we're gonna show you exactly how beautiful the bottom side is also. Oldsmobile time, baby. Top down, let's go. i tell you what, she is beautiful. I mean, look at the hood compared to the sky. I mean, the blue on the hood is like the blue in the sky. The white on the clouds is like the white stripes. I mean, she is gorgeous. Driving amazing also. Man, these Olds always drove so much better than the Chevys. I don't know what they did different. It just always seemed like they drove better. Now, my grandpa used to buy a brand new Oldsmobile every year. He used to get Grandma Cadillac, and he got him an Oldsmobile. I'll never forget it, man. He'd always get a red one, too. I can remember those days when he'd bring that car back. This guy in a Cadillac's gonna let me go first. Isn't that nice? He just wants to check out this beautiful car. Now, we can deliver this beauty anywhere in the world. You just call Tom, he'll tell you how easy it is and we can help you out with financing. So we're gonna head back to the shop now where we're gonna do something that nobody else in the industry does. This baby's gonna go up on the left and we're gonna take pictures and we're gonna do the video on the bottom side so you can see exactly what your darling little 442 recreation looks like. As you can see down here on the dash, everything's looking sweet here. 
The dash pad's in good shape. Looks like the Speedo's working. I've got my gauges over here. Love the steering wheel on these things too. It does have an aftermarket radio in it for those of you who need to listen to the radio when you're driving your hot rod. Looks like it's one of those late model ones too. You might be able to hook your phone up to, but you have to get somebody smarter than me to do that. About all I can do with my phone is send text messages and make phone calls. I know it'll do a lot more than that. That's what they tell me anyway. <laughs> tell you, driving awesome, man. Love this car. And the top goes down. Let's head out to the drive-in, the ice cream store. Hell, go to the grocery store. The trunk in this thing, you could probably get about $500 worth of groceries in the trunk of this baby. So we're headed back to the shop right now. We're at 15100 Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. So stick with us. Sounds like that Mustang's got a badass in it. I just heard him chirp the tires. All right, guys, stick with us. All right, we're underneath the Olds now, and man, it's pretty under here. First thing you see is that stainless steel gas tank. Doesn't that look sweet? Wouldn't it have been nice if they put those in from the factory? It'd probably still look that nice. Now we got stainless steel exhaust also. Then we got a nice coating on everything. It's like a bed liner material. Uh, we've got brand new um, setup here on the disc brakes. We got brand new shocks here. Looks like brand new bushings and lower control arms. It looks like we also have brand new lines on the brakes. We got a sway bar here, 270 gear in here, and it is an open rear end. We got uh, pipes, uh, mufflers here. It's a whole pipe set up here. It's all stainless. Um, got new bushings up here also. We got a new fuel line. We got a new brake line. We got a new parking brake cable set up here. It's got an X pipe in it, and it says pipes right there, baby. And we got these slip clamps right here, which are really nice. So if you ever got to take this thing down, uh, these come apart real easy, and you'll be able to slip that apart. Turbo 350 trans with aluminum pan on there. Those babies seal up a lot better than those stamped steel ones. Uh, we got a Jags high torque starter here also. Looks like new bushings on the lower control arms. Looks like new ball joints also. The whole brake setup up here also looks new. Got brand new uh, lines there too. Ball joints top and bottom, sway bar bushings. Everything looks new under here. I mean, they did a beautiful job on this thing. And then check out the air ducts here. That was so cool on Oldsmobile for them to do that. I just love those. Looks so cool. All the closeout panels and everything look like they're in good shape. The chrome on this great big old bumper looks like it's brand new. Now the wheel and tire combo on this thing, it's got these chrome magnums on it, or these chrome Oldsmobile wheels, I should say. Uh, two 15, 15s up front. And then we got the red inner wheelhouses that all the W30 cars came with. Now this is a tribute to the W30 car. You can see the uh, bottom side of the rocker also looking good. Always look at this pinch weld right here. This kind of tells the story about the whole car. And then out back here, same good looking Olds wheel, a little more rubber, 245 60 15s back here. Wheel lip moldings look good. The wheel wells are also coated with that uh, bed liner type material. Well, we're going to lower this baby down right now and take that take a look at that big 455. All right, we're under the hood of this baby and I'll tell you what, she's looking sweet under here. You can see the stock appearing air cleaner. That's what's hooked up to those ducts down below that I showed you. Uh, those red inner wheelhouses also, you see those over there. You see the power brakes, uh, the power steering. You can see all the lines, all the wiring, everything looks brand new. It's even got the great big old cast iron intake on it. And there is a quadra jet four barrel sitting on top of that. You can see also the evaporator has been all cleaned up. That fiberglass looks like it's brand new. Um, all the aluminum on all the AC hoses look like they're new. I mean, just everything under here looks brand new and beautiful. Now, underneath the shroud and everything, there is an aluminum radiator here. You can see they use the GM hoses, which are looking sweet. 
everything about this thing. And then look at the bottom side of the hood. This looks like a brand new fiberglass hood. What's really cool about this is it's got the steel reinforcement on the bottom side. Now the hood pins, when you put the hood up and down, don't worry about trying to adjust the hood pins because the hood pins are fakies. They just go down in here. They don't actually lock in. So, but when you put the hood up and down, no worries about that. Uh, you got the latch right underneath here. Um, and then your safety latch is right here. So guys, give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Shields park this stream in your drive.